take you to run some errands with me i have to be fast because we're gonna go celebrate my mother-in-law's birthday tonight at 5 p.m and i literally have like less than three hours but i work so slow that i hope i don't need all three hours so i'm not rushing probably gonna go to the mall do some returns and then go buy a book because i want to buy a book i've been seeing a lot of good reviews about some book <laughs> the AC because I had to put it on because I'm like melting I didn't end up getting a book because just reading the LM Hildebrand it just wasn't my cup of tea I read the back I mean I know they're super popular but after reading the back of the books like the summary I wasn't really a fan it was actually about a married couple and they seem to have the perfect life and the wife cheats on her husband <laughs> so I'm like you know I know that's like it's fiction and it's not real life but i don't know i just don't want to really be reading about that so i like wholesome books i like books that you know have a good story and make me cry make me laugh you know things like that i'm too old to read like teenage rom-coms which are more wholesome than like adult romantic novels and i feel like the adult ones are a little too ris risque for me a little bit too explicit for me so I'm just in a weird place. I only read nonfiction. I only read books that are like self-help books. Those are more my cup of tea. Like I love reading them and feeling like I learned something new that I can add to my life. But I keep on feeling like I need to read fiction because I need to get lost in a story. So if if anyone knows about a wholesome book that's very, very entertaining, please do share. Anyways, I'm gonna head out. See you in a few. in the sun i think here's fine i'll stay here standing on your front porch just left the pool showered and we're gonna go get some dinner i'm a happy girl when we go get dinner Say it like you mean it I hope I make them part If every younger version of myself could see me now Take me into it, you just go back to sleep Telling secrets I was supposed to keep But you are a folktale, I'm a believer You are a pipe dream This is my breakfast 
for today with a tostada. Well, I call it tostada, but it's just a corn tortilla with some chili garlic egg over easy. Well, I guess it's over medium. And then this is cheddar cheese and some coffee. I'm gonna get ready for brunch with my girls. We wanted this really cute rooftop in Queens, Long Island City to be fact. I love going to a cute spot and just having food and catching up like that is my thing. Just putting a little bit of foundation on. I think I need to get a darker concealer because this one is too light. Don't mind my room, it's a mess. I'm just a girl. I woke up too late. I slept in and didn't have the time to like make my bed and like all the things. I'm gonna do like a peachy, a peachy blush. There's something I really like about using my fingers for my makeup. I just feel like it feels like an Picasso artwork. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I just really enjoy it. I'm taking powder, bronzer. I find doing my makeup to be like extremely, I don't know, therapeutic. Like if you give me three hours to do my makeup, I think I would love to take the time to just do it all. Taking this Gucci blush in bright coral. It's such a pretty like natural corally pink, but not too coral blush. Bit too strong there. Taking some of my Charlotte Tilbury powder to powder some places. I love this highlight and contour Tom Ford. I can't find my Mark my Mark Jacobs palette. I can't find my Mario Mario palette. Oh I found it. I know it's meant to be. I'm not even doing any any type of base. Just going straight in. my curling thing all right i'm gonna stop talking now okay talk to you later tell everyone i said hi to love you. Love you. all right love you bye honestly i don't know if to go for like a bold lip i'm gonna do a bold lip it kind of goes with the blush all right now the hair now the hair i'm really dying to color my hair back to oh <laughs> that's what i'm using for heat protectant Kerastase oil, but I'm really dying to color my hair back to dark. I just feel like it's too much of a, it's like too stark of a transition. So I'm going to do a fun little hairstyle. Ah, so my my mess again. It's so embarrassing. I literally need to get it together with this room. Oh, I have a low camera alert. This is crazy. Well, I'll be right back. <laughs> I have to clean my mirror, but this is my outfit check. I feel like this outfit is very New York. Or just, I guess it's kind of trendy. But I love these New Balance sneakers. And I think I'm going to wear this and I'm going to kind of see what my friends are wearing. And if nobody is wearing sneakers or I feel like sneakers are inappropriate for this place that we're going to go to, I'm going to just change into... <laughs> these shoes right over here bye guys see you in a few I just came back from the dentist not too long ago. I had to pick up some new Invisalign trays. 
I've been wearing Invisalign for almost a year now when it was supposed to be an eight month or nine month thing. So I'm definitely going over the time that it was supposed to finish. So it's very frustrating for me. I had braces as a teenager and the bottom started shifting years later. I think it's because I stopped wearing my retainer. They stopped fitting and I just stopped wearing them. I didn't want to go back to the way they were. That's why I got Invisalign, but I feel like it was never that bad. I should just not got it. I don't know. I don't, I'm at the point where I'm like, I don't know if it was worth it but i'm grateful that i was able to get them done through my insurance and when i was working i had like really good dental insurance i want to do a few things i want to make breakfast and i'm gonna run some errands so this is a typical day in my life pieces I want to try on. One is this really long polka dot skirt. It doesn't really have a brand. It's only 10 bucks. <laughs> so that's good. I don't know if I love it, but I really like this one. I hope it fits. I feel like it's old Ann Taylor. Like something about it just screams old Ann Taylor. 16 bucks, not horrible. I don't think this is going to fit. It's a Madewell top. And this, honestly, I'm just trying on. I don't think I'm going to buy it. This is the outfit. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think the shirt's a bit tight, but it's still like cozy. It's not uncomfortable. But, and the skirt, <laughs> I really like the skirt, guys. It's, I really feel like for 10 bucks, I don't know, you can't go wrong. It fits really nicely. Just left Play-Doh's closet. They are gonna run through the clothes. It's an hour wait for them to give me like an estimate on how much they're gonna give me how much clothes you're gonna buy etc my quote will probably just be waiting there and they're not closing anytime soon so i'm gonna go to trader joe's didn't get the outfit that I wanted I didn't get it because it was a nice skirt but I I wasn't sure of the quality it didn't feel great to me and the shirt was a little too tight but isn't it such a cute outfit like I'm gonna head home right now because I have the groceries in my trunk and it's so hot and yeah see you there see you at my house this is my little Trader Joe's haul 
I bought quite a bit of stuff for I'm hoping this lasts for a week or two but um produce got some white button mushrooms onions some apples some poblano peppers because I want to make a guac so I bought also the little teeny avocados some stuff for salad salad stuff some fresh berries for my um, yogurts in the morning some dates I want to make some eggplant um, recipe that has dates also got a bunch of raw almonds cashews that are raw some quinoa for my salads some dried cranberries so I can have like trail mix chia seeds for my yogurt and like smoothies and stuff also got some grated parmesan or shaved parmesan parmigiano I don't know if that's the same thing um feta cheese for my salads half and half maple syrup which I heard is actually really good for you um got some mangoes in here got just two mangoes because I don't want to buy too many fruit and then they're gonna just go bad also got a grapefruit because I see a lot of people eating this so I'm like well, you know what let me just try it got some chicken which I will actually put away because it's kind of been out for some time I think I'm gonna freeze it I don't know when I'm gonna make it um some cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes for my salads some regular tomatoes for the guac this is the eggplant oh I got organic potatoes and um kiwi kiwi is really really healthy for you so that's about everything we're just gonna put all this away for regular olive oil but I don't have I only have extra virgin and the recipe actually says like I would advise against using extra virgin olive oil because it's like too bitter sorry calls for two tablespoons of maple syrup I'm just putting salt and pepper together i love homemade salad dressings honestly it's like the best thing ever i'm gonna leave that to chill for like 10 minutes or so and put the timer on just so it can thicken up what do we want to eat i think i'm in a savory breakfast mood so i am going to make avocado toast again i feel like i need cholula where's the dad I take my vitamins after my breakfast so let me just show you what I take so I take vitamin B12 this is a chewable that I got on whole food it tastes really good it says it's vegan I don't know what that means like is B12 normally vegan it's a lemon flavor I also take prenatals they have really good vitamins in it all you ever need I just take two of these just visit the two chapter 17 now when the 
had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where there was a synagogue of the Jews. And Paul went in, as was his custom. And I like to put on a YouTube workout. I just look up low impact. There's this one girl I really like, so I'm going to show you who she is. Every time I do her workouts, I'm like sore for sure the next day. And I like that because I feel like I'm doing something. I'm sorry if you hear my, my AC is so loud. I'm so sorry. It's this channel called Growing Ananas. I don't know if I'm saying that, pronouncing that right. Yeah, this is the one I'm going to do today. Okay, let's get started. just finished my workout i feel great i always feel so happy after a workout but it's just getting to the workout that's like the drag but right now i'm just gonna make a salad for lunch because it's definitely lunchtime, and then i'll probably tidy up and shower i think that's what i'm gonna do let's go make lunch i'm about to make a salad with kale, dried cranberries, some sunflower seeds, Dijon mustard for the dressing, lemon for the dressing. Let me just whip all this together. My legs are shaking from the work. I'm just pouring this into a salad shaker, salad dressing shaker. I'm doing a fourth cup. Olive oil. Bit of oil. And this one's gonna come to that. Now we're adding the Parmesan cheese, sunflower seeds, dried cranberries. So kale, Parmesan cheese, dried cranberries, and sunflower seeds. It's getting a little dark in the kitchen. I'm gonna clean out my fridge. I'm gonna try to do it in like a half hour. So it's gonna be a very speed clean, but I just want my fridge to be like organized and clean and you know, just, I don't want it to be like how it looks like right now. So yeah, we're just gonna wipe down these counters. And what it looks like right now I keep my um, produce in here and in case you don't know you are supposed to change this it actually lets air in to these fresh jars these are low rot like produce so we're gonna let the air filter in there so we set it 
to low. And for this drawer, these are like leafy greens that are more likely to get like humid and we'll put it on high so that it kind of traps the humidity in there. Don't really have much here. I got rid of this is my cilantro in the back. It looks kind of looks kind of funny, but I keep my whole wheat flour in there because you're supposed to refrigerate it or it goes bad. My cottage cheese Greek yogurts. This is my cheese drawer. You're supposed to keep it in the, in the drawer, so that's what I do. These are Pacheri's eggs. And up top here, you're supposed to, like, based on my research, you're supposed to keep, like, ready-to-eat foods. Um, so I'm just putting all the leftovers here and a few, like, veggies that I need to finish. And I just store two bananas because they're... They're going bad and I don't like to keep them out. I feel like they attract like more fruit flies, so I put them in. I didn't clean these like containers. I just feel like they look kind of clean. I don't have the time, I have to, I have to cook dinner. But that's, that's the after of my fridge. I got rid of the pots and pans in there. I'm gonna store my berries in there too. I'm just kind of waiting for them to dry off a little bit. Those are my blackberries. And I washed more fruit, I mean veggies. I put the wash fruit on these. I'm going to put them on the table so that, you know, you can just pick at it and you don't have to worry about if they are washed or not. And then these are some tomatoes. I want to make guac tonight, so I'm going to keep that handy. Finally put my berries in there and I just put a little bounty underneath a little bit of paper towel underneath because I heard that that helps preserve it longer so I'm just gonna feel like it looks more aesthetically pleasing down there it's been such a long day I didn't even shower after cleaning because I got so hungry that I had to just make dinner so this is what I made it's kind of just my go-to it's salmon mashed potatoes and some type of salad i just did a guac this time um you know i don't know if this goes well but i know it'll taste good i think i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next